if Catherine bears witness to any sacrament, that's perhaps the greatest, she had a tremendous love for the Eucharist. And she subsisted off the Eucharist almost exclusively for a long period of her life, something that is almost unthinkable to us. And then, of course, there are the innumerable stories of her long ecstasies, her trances after receiving the Eucharist, of that communion, that contemplation, that meditatio on what she has just received, the body, blood, and divinity of our Lord. To the point, in fact, that uh, there were many in the Dominican community and many in, in Siena itself uh, who tried to stop her from receiving it because they, th they thought she was a spectacle, that, uh, that she could not be sincere in sitting in a trance or some sort of an ecstasy for hours after receiving the Eucharist. And yet, miracles took place surrounding the fact that when people tried to deprive her of the Eucharist, she would actually receive the Eucharist in, in a miraculous fashion.